Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. In this, our fifth video in our DNN 9 video series, I'm going to go through some of the very basic things I do when I set up a brand new DNN 9 website. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how we're going to delete the content on that default home page in our DNN 9 install. Then I'm going to go into, into the site settings and configure a number of the settings that I will always configure on a fresh installation of DNN. And we'll turn off a couple of the functionalities and features that are available that are on by default within the platform. After that, we'll configure the registration option to control whether or not we're going to allow registration on our website. And then I'm going to go in and disable the DNN copyright setting, which will display in the HTML source code of every page, a DNN copyright message. I'll show you how to do that within DNN 9. At this point in time, in DNN 9.0.1, you actually have to make that change in the database. You can see the SQL script here on the screen, and we'll review that when we get to that portion of the video. Now in the next video in our series, we're gonna get into the extreme details of the site settings. In this video, we're just gonna to touch on a couple of those briefly. So let's go ahead and switch over to our virtual machine where I have DNN 9 currently installed. So we've got DNN 9 installed, and I'm logged in with that host or super user account. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do in this video is clear out the content on this particular home page. So I'm gonna do that by going down in the persona bar, clicking on the edit pencil, that will take us into edit mode here in DNN 9. And we can either go in and start to edit the content in the modules on this page, or we can simply delete those modules. So to delete the modules, we're gonna mouse over the icon with the little gear icon, and we're gonna choose the delete option from the action menu that appears there. That will delete that module from this page, and you can see the page reloads, and we now have one additional module available. We're gonna go ahead and delete that module as well from the home page. So first thing I'll do is I'll come in and just do that and remove the modules, remove that content. Now we do have one additional module, which I believe I added in one of the first videos in our series. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one from the home page as well. Now at this point we have a essentially clean, empty home page that we can go through and start to configure that content, which we'll do in future videos in our DNN 9 series. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the site settings. So we're gonna go to that persona bar, mouse over the settings icon and choose the first option, which is site settings. Now from here, we can go through and configure our site title, our description for the website, and the keywords for this site. Now, the description and the keywords here are page descriptions and page keywords that will be utilized by DNN on any page in which you do not configure a page level description or page level keywords. So here, I try to make a fairly generic description for our site. If we wanna utilize that as a default description for pages that don't have their own page description, whatever content we put in here will be used there. So I'm gonna change the title, change the description and the keywords. I'm also going to choose the proper time zone. Now I always choose the time zone where my server is located. I'm located here in St. Louis, Missouri, so I'm gonna choose the central time zone as the time zone for my site. Now the very next option here is a copyright message. Now this copyright message is currently being displayed within the skin or the theme that controls the look and feel of our website. We can change the, the text here that gets displayed. So I can replace DNN Corp with ChrisDoc.com or I could remove that altogether. Now if I remove it altogether, what DNN will actually do is it will take the title plus the current year and show a copyright message based on the site title and the current year. But for now, we're gonna change that copyright message here just to be copyright year by chrisdoc.com. Now from there, we can also go in and upload a new logo for this site. We'll do that in a future video. Before I move on, I would go ahead and save my changes here within the site settings. If we go ahead and close the site settings 
and refresh the page, what we should see is in the footer, as the page reloads, our copyright message changes to chrisdoc.com. If we go ahead and navigate back into the site settings option, there's a couple more options that we're gonna go through here within site settings. If we go ahead and click on site behavior, on the site behavior tab, we can get into a default pages section, messaging, user profiles, site aliases, or the URLs for the site. But more specifically, we're gonna go into the more tab and we're gonna choose to uncheck the check for software upgrades option and I'm gonna make sure that the participate in DNN improvement option or improvement program is also unselected. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Now, both of these options make calls back to dnnsoftware.com with some pertinent information about your site, what version you're running to check if there's upgrades available. Just to not share information, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I unselect those two options. Now, in addition to those changes, we're going to go back into the persona bar and go to the security setting. And from here, we're going to go ahead and configure the registration settings. So I'm going to click on the member accounts tab and then the registration options. Now, the user, user registration options within DNN, there are four. We can have none, which means our site will not allow users to register, not not allow them to create new accounts. As a host or an admin, we can still create accounts for our users, however. We can also have a private registration which allows people to register on the site, but they cannot log into the site until they've been approved by an administrator. A public registration means that anyone can register on the site and they can immediately log in to that website. And then finally, the verified option allows people to register on the site, but they have to go through a verification process, which requires them to click on a link in an email that the site will send to them. For now, in our development environment, we're simply going to turn registration off by choosing the none option. We'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom there. Go ahead and click on save and update our registration settings. Now, the final thing we're gonna do in this video is one of the settings that I always change on a fresh DNN installation. Now, in older versions of DNN, this was actually an easy setting to change by navigating to the host, host settings page. But in DNN 9 currently, this setting is no longer exposed. So we're gonna have to make a change to the database in order to change the setting. But let's first talk about what the setting is. If we go ahead and right click on the page and view source, we can see here within the Microsoft Edge browser, it will show us the HTML source for the page. On line four in that HTML source on the page, four through line seven, we can see some HTML comments that say DNN platform with a link to dnnsoftware.com and a copyright statement for DNN Corporation. I always disable this on all of my sites, so I'm gonna show you how we can go ahead and do that. By disabling it, it will remove this information from the HTML source of every page on your DNN website. To make the change, we're gonna navigate back to the persona bar. Under the settings icon, we're gonna to navigate to the SQL console option. Now on the SQL console option, we're gonna go ahead and load up that SQL console. And first time it loads, for some reason it's disabled, so I can't actually type any text in there. But if we go ahead and refresh the page, we'll see that we now have a text area here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the SQL that I've previously put into my clipboard, but it is pretty simple SQL. I'm doing an update statement on the host settings table. I'm setting a setting value equal to N, within single quotes, where specifically the setting name is equal to copyright, also in single quotes. So if I were to actually query the host settings table where the setting name is copyright, I would get a value back in the response of Y. So I'm simply gonna set that value to N. Now once we've executed that SQL, we can navigate back into the persona bar. We're gonna to navigate to the settings servers option. And in order for that change to be picked up, we need to go ahead and clear the cache. And I also, out of habit, 
We'll choose the restart application option as well from the persona bar. Once that occurs, we can, in the, in the page reloads, we can go ahead and close the persona bar. And just for safe measure, I like to do a refresh of the page to make sure we've gotten a new copy of what's being delivered from the web server. And once that persona bar loads completely, we can again, right click on the page, choose view source. And we will see now after the HTML tag, we no longer have that DNN copyright statement visible. So by turning that setting off, we've now removed that from the content in our HTML for every page. So in our next video in the DNN 9 series, we're going to talk about the site settings in far more detail than we did in this video. This is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.